Welcome to Doodle Valley, home of the world's only complete werewolf skeleton. Thank you all for volunteering or being unwillingly enlisted to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, there's still time to join the audience and help the cause. The mayor wants to turn all the drab white walls in the town into colorful community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Marcy. That's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. Right here. As you can see, this piece has already been started. The local preschool was going to paint something here, but this is as far as they got before they declared it an exercise in futility. They're very advanced. That's horrible. How can you start something and not complete it? We believe in a little thing called democracy around here. So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Oh, and I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, volunteers. Ready, still ready, and ready. I mean, go. While these two are drawing, the rest of you can express your feelings about their work with the buttons on your device. I like the vegetable one. Time's running out. Hurry up and finish. Two very strong candidates. It's up to the voters to pick a winner. Hey, quit fooling around and vote! Let's count those votes. We've got our results. Not so fast, Clementine. Each match, I'm going to single out one emoticon for a special reward. The drawing with the most of the emoticons will get a little bonus. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most laughing fellas. <laughs> I love it! Now how about you two give it a shot? Go! Time to vote! Let's see how that shook out! This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most purple bananas! Or whatever those are! Fantastic! Now let's see what you two can add! Go! Moment of truth. Next up. Go! It's 
magnificent. I couldn't imagine adding anything else. Now it needs a good title. Suggest one on your device now. Find the title that speaks to you and vote. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, let's take a step back and admire the finished product. What have we done here? Huh, I guess that'll do. Where's the next stop on our beautification tour? I'm thinking here. I've got a good feeling about this one. Go. Here we go. Up next, go. up those votes. Up next, go. Voting time. Okay, count them up. Up next, go. Away. Let's see how that shook out. I'm not exactly sure what to call this, but it does need a title.
Okay, vote for your favorite. Time for the reveal. Remember, you all did this together. Well, it's out in the universe now. We just have to own it. Holy Mac! What's next on the agenda, sir? Oh, I got a special treat for our budding artist, Mildred. That's not... <sighs> Fine. What is it? Your art has moved me to commission you to do a portrait. One that'll hang in the town hall. <laughs> Get ready, everyone, because you're all drawing at once this time. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. Let me just open up the old Doodle Valley phone book here and... Here we go. That's who you're gonna draw. Uh, sir? I've got no clue who that is. Oh, you remember? They live down by Route 27-3. Where, you know, by Floyd's Barbershop. I'm not totally sure what he's getting at, but let's just start by drawing Floyd some eyes. Nice Any spot. eyes yeah, you want. Oh, wait a minute. That was Bad options here, but let's vote on which is best. Oh no, a tie! We're all doomed. Now, now, Thelma Lou, as mayor, I get to break all the ties. I pick this one. Next. Let's all do the nose. A tie, huh? I'm gonna pick this one. Now we add the mouth. Finally, finish off this drawing with anything you want. Go nuts with it!
last vote together. Oh, it's just like the last day of camp. Let's see exactly what you're responsible for. It's constabulary. After a beautiful artistic experience like that, does it even really matter who the winner was? Oh, it, oh, it does? Okay, then. A monster seeking monster. I'll be your love guide, Felicia the Ever Living. I'll be hosting six nights of suspense riddled romance where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins, more or less. Did I mention you're all secretly monsters? Check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use. Let's all take a chance on love in a room filled with potentially terrifying monsters. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely.
that your secret conversations might be seen by everyone during the dates? My bad. The message sending timer is down to 20 seconds. Time to wrap things up. Oh, sorry. Time's up. Now, on your device, pick the one person you hope you're going on a date with today. If my heart could still beat, it would be skipping a few right now. Hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, okay, let's see who tricked who. I mean, who picked who. And if you don't get a date, don't worry, this is just the first night. Wait! Looks like some other people had the same idea. Let's see what happens. Hey, oh, hey, that's not good news for you, sorry. Wow, what an exciting first night. Let's maybe salt those wounds a wee bit by going to the scoreboard. It looks like you are currently doing the best. And you're temporarily in last place. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. And every night after that, we'll do the same for the highest ranking unrevealed monster. Before we move on, only having four players is pretty limiting dating-wise. So I'm adding a fifth player. Robot. Here's how the robot works. The robot loses a heart at the end of every night, but it also gains a bonus heart for every player that messages and tries to date it. At the end of the game, if the robot comes in last place, it fails to understand human emotions and destroys humanity. So keep your eye on the robot or you could all lose the game. You can read that again whenever you want on your device by hitting the info button on their chat screen. The same goes for any monster after they're revealed. Oh, by the way, there's a full moon out tonight, in case that affects your monster power. We all know how this works by now. Message away! Hey, if you need to block another player, when you hit the info button on their chat screen, there's a block button in there, and then you won't see their messages.
once again, it's time to pick your date. So, did we learn any useful life lessons the first night? We'll find out. Let's see those dates. Poor robot. <sighs> if you only get one message from someone, they're probably not that into it. Looks like someone was hoping this date wouldn't work out. Let's see what's what now. Oh, fun! Things are happening. Don't forget, from now on, at the end of each night, a new monster will be revealed. You're currently at the top. Let's see your monster power. Vengeful Ghost! The Vengeful Ghost starts the game with a bonus heart. When the Vengeful Ghost asks someone on a date and gets rejected, that person loses a heart. Be careful around the Vengeful Ghost. Night three. Get to messaging. Oh, a quick word of advice. If one of the other players isn't getting much attention, they might be more receptive. We're down to 20 seconds. Okay, time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. The suspense is killing me. Not literally, I'm immortal. Date time! <laughs> Apparently, no one tried to date the robot. It might help to woo people with more than just one message. Don't go yet, there's more. Let's see if that changed any of the standings. Oh, I see the robot is sitting in last place. That could be a problem if it doesn't change. You're the highest unrevealed player, so let's see it. Two-faced creep! The creep earns a bonus heart for every player they reject, but only on nights they successfully get a date. Oh, two-faced creep. Night four. Keep your eye on that full moon. Message time!
Once again, it's time to pick your date. If I had real human emotions, I'd really be feeling them right now. Let's see the dates. Someone else wanted in on that action and failed. Hey! The robot's a sure thing if you're the only one that asks it out. Any of that changed the social pecking order. Okay, let's see your secret. Monster Hunter! At the end of the game, the Monster Hunter gets a bonus heart for every time they date the monster type they've secretly been told to hunt. Night five. To messaging. Seconds and counting. Oh, sorry, time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. I'm keeping my mandibles crossed for everyone to do well. Time to see the date. Sorry, robot. Let's see what's what now. Not to bum you out, but I see the robot is in last place and we're dangerously close to the end. Time for another reveal. Glob. Every time the Glob successfully dates three new players, its heart tally doubles. It's our last night together. Make it count. You get two hearts for dating now because it's such a special night. Oh, and what a perfect night for a full moon. This should be interesting. Last night. Yes, it's true. It's Message time.
Alter. Last night. Ah. like everybody ignored the robot. You thought that one little message was going to work, huh? The creep gets a bonus heart for standing up a player. Rejection for our extra lonely heart over there. The creep got rejected. Bye bye, bonus hearts. Let's see the almost final standings. Time to tally up any after party bonus hearts. Who was the monster hunter hunting this whole time? The vengeful ghost, who they dated twice. How does that affect the final standing? Hmm, apparently it doesn't. Well, this isn't good. The robot's going to kill everybody now. Monsters to me. Some 
吗？Okay, there's four of you. I guess my son isn't the only one who has online friends. Take that, Toby. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. If enough people do it, maybe we can break the internet. Put on your oxygen tank, because we're going to explore cyberspace. <sighs> Welcome to the net. My name is Todd, and I bet you don't know my banking password. Give up? Okay, it's Todd78. Oh, I did it again. In case you need some instructions, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Partyboy7, here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So, in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a crowdfunding site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can.
you regret your decisions? It's too late now. looks the most ridiculous here. Place your vote now. Let's see how everybody voted. Here's who twisted the words. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Well, that's something you can't unsee. Here's the order of who I think is cool from top to bottom. Great. Now let's go to a job networking site. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. Here's your clay. Now mold it into something beautiful. Is anyone else's heart racing right now? Here are your candidates. Now place your votes. Okay, here are the verdicts. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's see what that round did to things. Let's switch things up and go to a uh, video site. <laughs> It's time to answer another prompt. 
I'd like you to really listen to your heart this time. the drill. Let's see what you rascals came up with. Let's get those boats in. Here's what people think. Scoreboard time. Let's end things at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so literally anything can happen. All right, here's your last prompt. You know what to do.